Hi there, I'm Miss Maisie, a teen librarian at the Neighborville Public Library, and today we're going to be making shoebox projectors. Let's get started. For this craft, you'll need a shoebox, black foam core board, a magnifying glass, glue, a pencil, pen, or marker, a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife, some mounting tape, and optionally some heavy painter's tape or electrical tape. And of course, you'll need a smartphone. To start, we're going to grab our magnifying glass and remove the handle. If you picked up a kit, the handle should already be removed from your magnifying glass. We're going to take our box and our magnifying glass, kind of position your magnifying glass towards the center of your box, and then grab your pen or marker. You're going to trace around the magnifying glass. If your box is a layered lid like this one, you'll just want to make sure you lift it up and complete the trace on the other side too, because we're going to have to cut through both layers of cardboard. Now we'll grab our scissors or X-Acto knife and cut this hole out. You may want to get a parent to assist you with this part of the process. You may find that there's multiple layers of cardboard in your inside your box, but you are able to go ahead and cut through those as well. You can always trace and recut, or like mine, you can see where the cuts are trying to get through and just follow that line. If you're using scissors to cut, what I recommend is using your scissors to push through the cardboard and make an initial hole and then use that to cut out and around that line. Once you have your hole cut, you're going to want to make sure that your magnifying glass fits in the hole. Once you have it in there, this is when you can use your painter's tape to optionally add um, a layer to make sure this attaches really tightly. If, like me, you have a box top layer, you'll want to make sure you're only connecting it to the actual box and leave the box top off. Next, we're going to want to grab our foam core board and line it up so we can see how much excess we have on the box. Uh, for instance, mine isn't really going to fit in my box. I have about an inch um, overhang. We're going to want to cut that inch off using our scissors or foam uh, X-Acto knife. You may be able to see that I have a line on here. So before I cut the line, I'm gonna take my scissors and kind of score along it as straight as I can because I find that helps me cut a smoother line into foam core board. And then we're going to go ahead, take our scissors and cut. Once we have our foam core board cut so it'll fit in the box, we're going to want to guesstimate how high we need it to be so it'll be just under the lip of the box and we're going to draw another line there. Once you've got your line drawn, we're going to cut it once more. So now we have a piece of foam core board that we can fit in our box, but it won't really stand on its own, so we're going to build up a quick base. One thing I like to do while building a base is to cut another piece of foam core board the same size as what I already had. Then I'm going to take the two pieces and glue them together. You'll want to use more glue than you think you need because you want a solid foundation. This is another point where it can be really helpful to have that optional tape to um, add some extra stability to the sides of your foam core board. Next we're going to cut a piece that's about two inches wide. Um, that's the same length as our other piece, and we're going to glue it at a right angle. And it should fit in your box in a way that lets you move it back and forth, which will be really important because we're going to attach our smartphone here and adjust it to be able to watch our movie. On your phone, you're going to want to go to your menu or settings and then lock your screen so it won't turn. This is because you need your screen to actually be upside down because when it goes through the lens, the image will be flipped. So your image will end up looking like it's upside down unless you 
play your video upside down on your phone. You're also want to, going to want to bring your screen brightness all the way up so it's as bright as it can possibly be. Next, you're going to take that mounting tape and put it on the back of your phone. This stuff is super sticky and you should be able to reuse it as long as you re-wet it after each use. You're going to take that mounting tape on your phone and you're going to stick your phone onto that little wall we just made. You'll put your little wall in your box. You'll pull up the video that you want to watch. You'll need to dim the lights in whatever room you're using so your image will show. Make sure to set it somewhere in front of a blank stretch of wall. You'll have to adjust the screen back and front until it comes into focus with your magnifying glass. Turn the volume all the way up so you can hear it through the box. Press play. Shut your box. Project your video and enjoy. Thanks so much for joining me and make sure to join us for another project soon. Bye.